My name is Graham Ryder. We're at Stable Craft Brewing in the Stable Craft Brewery. I'm here with. Hi, I'm uh, Tony Zappenbolso, and I'm a brewer here at Stable Craft. Awesome. So we're here talking about uh, Sleigh Ride, the new Terra Imperial Stout coming out tomorrow, uh, December 10th. So it's actually an Imperial Stout with cherries. So we took. Uh, Imperial Stout is a higher ABV stout. Okay. Uh, it also typically has a little bit higher IBUs as well because you want a little bit of that bitterness to help cut through all the roast characteristics that comes from the malt. Okay. So we brewed an Imperial Stout. Uh, and like I said, you'll have that slight bitterness from the hops. And what that's doing is when you brew these beers, you use a lot of roasted grains. Uh, so we use some chocolate malt, we use some roasted barley. And with that, it's going to uh, give you some of that chocolate flavor as well as uh, like notes of roast that could be kind of like reminiscent of coffee. So a little bit of that bitterness that's coming through from the hops will help to cut through all of that roast. Okay. And then we condition it on cherries and the cherry kind of rounds out the entire beer. So it gives us a nice uh, complex, like layered flavor. And a little bit of the sweetness that's coming from that cherry is going to help to cut through the, some of the bitterness that's coming from the hop. And now we have a balanced beer. Oh, very nice. Um, we have a few other stouts here at Stable Graph. Kind of known for it. How does it compare to some other craft stouts? So like I said, this is an Imperial Stout, so it's going to have that higher ABV on it. Um, and with the addition of the cherry, it is going to be a touch sweet. Uh, but because of the high ABV, uh, it also has what we call heat. So a little bit of that warm feeling when you drink it because of the high alcohol. Where our other stouts, like for instance, our Boston Creek, uh, 6%. So more of the mild, middle of the road kind of ABV on that. It's also a chocolate uh, oatmeal stout. So it's gonna have like that smooth full body from the oats. And it's also gonna have more of that dark chocolate flavor because that's actually conditioned on cacao nuts. So it's not so much of that milk chocolatey kind of flavor and more so the dark, like robust flavor of dark chocolate. So you've mentioned conditioned twice now. What does yeah. that mean? So it's like the, aging or infusing process of infusing those flavors into the beer itself. Okay. So uh, what we do is we take the product and then we will add, like for instance with this one, we add in a whole bunch of cherry to it. And we allow it to sit on the cherry to really infuse that flavor into the product itself and then we remove the cherry. Gotcha. So it's not fermented cherries. Correct. Adding it post-fermentation kind of Just to add the flavor yeah. and, the, and the aroma of the cherry to the beer. Kind of make it more of a sophisticated taste. Correct. A whole drinking experience rather than just beer. Exactly. Drinking experience is a perfect thing to say because like with a beer like this, when you take that first sip, you might get some of that bitterness. Or you might get a bunch of cherry. And then you take another sip and now you're getting a little bit of chocolate from that's coming from the bottle. You take that third sip and you get a little bit of that roast. So as you're drinking this beer, you're really going to be experiencing it. Experiencing it. And um, just going through all of like, the different flavors that come through with the ingredients that we sourced for this product. So as you go through and taste this beer, you might taste different things going through it. And I know I just said that twice. But, like, <laughs> It, 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 like you said it perfectly, it is an experience. Like you don't, you don't just simply drink beer to experience. Yeah. You gotta keep watching, you gotta stay up with what we're doing, and uh, just keep a lookout, because some cool stuff's gonna be coming out. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm curious, I'm also thirsty. <laughs> uh, again, that's the Slate Ride Imperial Stout with Cherries. Yep. Releasing December 10th. Tomorrow or today, Friday, depending on when this gets released. <laughs> um, at Stable Craft Growing in Waynesboro, Virginia. Come on by, grab a pint.